the Computer History Archives Project. The IBM System 370 family of mainframe computers, introduced in 1970, was a pivotal moment in computing history. This presentation describes the origins of the 370 and some of its capabilities and advancements over its predecessor, the IBM 360. The highly successful 360, which incorporated solid logic technology, debuted in April 1964 and became the most widely used mainframe in the world. However, faster and more powerful systems were needed to meet growing user demands. With such a large installed base of 360 users to satisfy, backward compatibility of programs was a key concern in the creation of any new replacement series, as well as the need to satisfy growing workloads and increased complexity of applications. The following restored original 370 announcement film from 1970 describes the thought processes that went into the development of the new advanced architecture. The 370 went on to become IBM's most widely used platform, not only for the decade of the 70s, but well into the 1980s and beyond. The film, which is provided for educational and historical purposes, runs about 10 minutes, followed by an appendix of supporting material and reference sources. Comments and experiences with the 370 are welcome. We hope you enjoy this brief taste of the world of computing as it was just a few decades past. Demand, growth, potential, familiar words to everyone in data processing. Each year, more demand, more growth, more potential. At IBM, we know the importance of progress. We're concerned about tomorrow, today. A System 360. Only a few short years ago, the introduction of this workhorse revolutionized data processing. Today, you'll find them everywhere in the world, handling volumes of information at speeds never dreamed of a decade ago. The 360 won distinction in a very short time. But in a business where time is everything, you don't sit still. You can't. Even as the first 360s were coming off the line, a lot of people were already looking ahead. Sure, it's a good system, but how do you improve it? Innovate, perfect, advance. The designers start to brainstorm. The engineers study new technology. Programming analysts study new support requirements. The marketing team listens to the customer. How can it be improved? What can be added? How can better performance be achieved without disruption of the current workload? The wider range of memory sizes is absolutely essential as we look forward to the programs that are under development today and the requirements that we know that they, they actually uh, that will require the memory sizes. What type of increments are you talking about in that range there? Through all this, one overpowering fact begins to emerge. The name of the game is growth. No matter how much speed and performance the DP executive is getting from his current 360, he's going to need more at a price he can justify. And he's going to need it soon. We have a commitment of support from the OS programming people, and they will be supporting not only the new CPUs, but the new I.O. This will be available at announcement time.
All these ideas feed in, and then one day, it all starts to come together. Some new definitions and goals begin to evolve. Information obtained from customers everywhere by IBM representatives has been relayed back to the development engineers and planners. At the same time, systems architects are moving ahead. Breakthroughs in hardware technology, innovations in circuitry, power supply and memory design, new ideas in input-output devices, all play a part. Within months, it is evident that new, much improved systems are possible as an extension of System 360 architecture. Next step, implement. Testing is underway, thousands of hours worth. Whatever is going to come out of the laboratories has a lot of standards to meet. More speed, more memory, more reliability, more price performance, and all without disrupting existing systems. And then one day, some final results. IBM introduces System 370, a total system offering new opportunities to the world of data processing. The System 370 Model 165, a real powerhouse. Internal speeds two to five times faster than the Model 65. New main storage capacities, up to 3 million bytes. New channel capabilities, up to 12 channels available. Wide-ranging program support, including integrated emulation for 7070, 7080, and 7090 series. The Model 165 brings a new dimension to database, communications, and multiprogramming for both scientific and commercial users. Best of all, because of its extensive compatibility with System 360, the price performance gains provided by the System 370 Model 165 can be achieved with minimum retraining, reprogramming, converting. Equally impressive, the System 370 Model 155. This System 370, installed at an IBM location, is already proving its worth in areas serviced by System 360 Models 40 and 50. The Model 155 offers internal speeds three and a half to four times Model 50. More and faster channels, channel error checking, a new channel capability called block multiplexing, faster data rates, more main storage to two million bytes. Integrated emulation of 1401, 1410, 7010. Reliability and availability features. Again, as with the Model 165, a minimum of retraining, reprogramming, or converting is needed to obtain this price performance gain. The 155 and the 165. System 370, here today. Along with the capabilities of the System 370, IBM offers innovations in input-output devices resulting in new horizons in database and direct access. The 3330, a database subsystem providing new techniques for retrieving data and incorporating new technologies for high-speed access and data rates to an 800 million byte subsystem. The 2305, a fixed head storage subsystem, offering high performance access and data transfer, average access times as fast as two and a half milliseconds. The 3211 high-speed printer, high-quality output printing from your database at 2,000 lines per minute 
and new features to ease job-to-job -job transition. The System 370, Model 155 and Model 165, along with its new input-output equipment, provide a new dimension in throughput. The impact of the System 370s will be felt in all areas. Whatever field you work in, science, medicine, research, manufacturing, distribution, government, finance, insurance, customer service, records keeping, accounting. The IBM System 370 will be there to help carry the load. Price performance and compatibility. Progress without disruption. The Model 155, the Model 165, another big step forward in the computer age. New from IBM, System 370.